Before we start working on the project, we want to make sure that all the tools are properly set up on our computer. I'll show you a couple of tools today, and those are the only ones that we will need throughout this project training. Uh, the first one is Git. So uh, Git is basically a version control system. It helps you track all the files on your computer, all your project files. So every time you change something, you're able to upload it to Git. And if you're working with other people, they can also do, do some changes and you can do, uh, you will be able to work on the same file at the same time. It's also good if you're working alone, so you can look at your versions, you can look what you changed before and none of the changes will be lost. So to install Git on our computer, we have to open up the terminal. So what we want to do here is to say Git and then the computer prompts us automatically to say, do you want to install Git? And I do. Okay, Git is installed. And how we can check if Git is installed properly or not is writing git double dash version. And yeah, Git is installed. We have a Git version. And if you're getting an error here, for example, no uh, comment such as Git, then that would mean that there, something went wrong there. Uh, but yeah, if you're getting the version information, that means that you successfully installed Git. The next thing that you need is Anaconda. So there is a lot of confusion about what Anaconda is, especially because of the name. You know, it sounds like another snake uh, than the Python that we need, uh, the programming language. But it's basically, you can think of it as a package. So what do we need to do data science? We need Python. We need some sort of Python libraries that are specifically made for doing data science and machine learning. We also need Jupyter Notebooks. That's the most commonly used interface to write code for data science. So instead of downloading and installing all of these things separately, Anaconda gives us the option to download everything at the same time. So basically by downloading Anaconda and just installing it once, we will be installing everything on our computer. We will have Python, the latest version of Python. We will have uh, Jupyter Notebooks and we will have the basic machine learning and data science libraries that we need. Installing Anaconda on your computer is fairly simple. It's basically the same as downloading any other software and installing it on your computer. So what I'm going to do first is just go to anaconda.com and we scroll down and get the individual edition. And we want to download it. Yeah, so these are your options to uh, different installers. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to go with the graphical installer for Mac. Uh, one thing that's important if you're using Windows, you want to make sure that you're using the uh, downloading the correct uh, installer for your computer, either 64-bit or 32-bit. And yeah, then I download this one. I just keep it on my desktop, it's fine and wait for it to download. And once it's downloaded, I go to where it is and I open it up. Yes. So from now on, it's fairly simple. You just follow all the options or all the <clears throat> guidance. And it's installed here. You can decide if you want PyCharm on your computer. It's uh, an ID um, to you know do all of Python if you need it. But we will mostly use Jupyter Notebooks, so we don't really need PyCharm. And it's finished. Now we can start using it. And uh, before we end this video, um, we already installed Jupyter uh, Anaconda, but I want to show you how you can start using Jupyter Notebooks right away. Basically, if everything went well, when you write Jupyter Notebooks in the terminal, it should fire up a new Jupyter Notebook automatically.